Welcome to IG. Welcome to Week Ahead. My name is Hebe, market analyst for IG. Let's take a closer look at what are the key economic events and data for the week starting from the August 28th. Now let's start with a recap of the key highlights for the past week. The People's Bank of China (PBOC) has lowered its one-year loan prime rate (LPR) by 10 basis points, establishing a new historic low at 3.45%. But they did not change the five-year mortgage rate as markets expected. For the Bank of Korea, during its August meeting, that Bank of Korea as widely expected kept its base rate steady for 3.5 percent for the fifth consecutive time, citing the ongoing easing in inflation. Moving on to the United States, the service PMI for August dropped to 51 from 52.3. Marking the slowest expansion in the U.S. service sector in six months. Meanwhile, the U.S. manufacturing PMI also fell below market expectations, dropping further to 47 in August. Now let's take a closer look at what's coming up for the week ahead, starting from August 28th. On Monday, we kick things off with Australia's July retail sales data. Moving on to Tuesday, Japan will publish its July unemployment rate, and meanwhile, in the United States, the release of July's job opening will be a big highlight. Wednesday, the midweek will bring us Australia's July monthly CPI, and the United States there will be updates on the Consumer Confidence Index for August, and the second estimate for the Q2 GDP growth rate. Thursdays will be a very busy day with China's manufacturing and non-manufacturing PMI, Japan's July retail sales data and industrial production. Over in the Eurozone, we will see the August inflation rate. And in the United States, a big watch for Thursday is the release of July's personal income, personal spending, and PCE, which is the favorite price indicator for the U.S. Central Bank. Wrapping up the week on Friday, China's Chaixin manufacturing PMI will be in focus and the United States all eyes will be on the US job data including the August non-fund payroll and the unemployment rate. Let's a quick overlook of the key economic events and data to watch for the week ahead. Thank you for watching or see you next time.